and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some five color reborn. This was a pretty fun deck to play last format, the War of the Spark format. Uh, and we're not updating it too much here with our new format M20. We're updating a little bit. But if you don't know this deck, this is a five color deck. That's right. We are playing all five colors because we are trying to cast Niv Mizzet Reborn, which Niv Mizzet Reborn is one of the most fun cards to cast in general. <laughs> this is my cat, Hawkeye. Um, he decided to, to join in. But Niv Mizzet Reborn is just a really fun card to cast. And how it works is that uh, whenever it enters the battlefield, you reveal those 10 cards from your library. And um, for every color pair, you can put a card from among them into your hand. So every every one of these Guild Matters cards. So like you get a black, white, a green, white, a red, white, and so on. A blue, black card, and so on. Um, this How I have this built, uh, I have this built as, as basically a control deck. Uh, as you can tell here, we got Clarions, Kaya's Wraths. Uh, we're doing a lot of kind of Esper control-ish things. You know, Thought Erasure, Discovery, um, and so on. And, and basically just trying to stay alive, Wrath the board a whole lot, and then take over the late game with these really big flyers that draw you a lot of cards, whether it's Niv Misery Born or Hydroid Crisis. So that's that's our game plan there. Uh, the, the new card from M20 that we have here is Golos, which I'm pretty excited about playing Golos here. Because not only does Golos allow you to put any land into play so like whatever color you're missing uh you can go find with golos all right hawkeye you can be on camera too whatever whatever color you're missing um but then you we also have that ability for seven mana to activate um now i'm not sure how uh i'm not sure how like useful the seven mana ability is going to be in this deck like we have some cards that are not going to be good hits you know like if we exile kaya's wrath for example we probably don't want to play it you know like if we're ahead on the battlefield with our pilgrim we don't want to kaya's wrath away our pilgrim if we exile the crisis we're not going to be able to cast the crisis uh for zero mana it won't really do anything so we'll kind of see how that this actually plays out but since we're adding in golos i actually cut a chromatic lantern the last couple of times we played the deck, I, I sideboard out Chromatic Lanterns a lot. Our mana, while it looks pretty crazy, doesn't actually end up being that bad. And, you know, I'm thinking maybe we don't need four Chromatic Lanterns. Because, especially how the games go later with this deck, drawing Chromatic Lanterns late in the game aren't usually very good draws. Um, let's see. I, I also added in a, a deck Bedazzle. This is a new card because of how popular Adanto Vanguard is. So I added this in uh, for Adanto Vanguard, and then the same thing with Hostage Taker. Uh, very good against Adanto Vanguard and just a bunch of other random stuff. Uh, this was a card that wasn't in the deck before. So those are some new additions to the sideboard for this metagame. But there we go, five color reborn. We're gonna go ahead and play this over in ranked. Uh, I think this is a strong deck. I've played this deck quite a bit. Uh, and so we'll go ahead and take it on over to ranked. Um, We'll see if, usually whenever we take decks to ranked, we play five matches with them, but we may not quite play five matches. We're going to play for about an hour and a half here uh, with Five Color Reborn. So we'll, these games can go longer though. So maybe we're, we're only going to do four. We'll see. Um, oh, I bet London Mulligan Rule helps this deck out too. Also that I didn't really consider. Thank you so much, Dr. Grendel. All right, Grixis Dragons. Yeah, I'm sorry I didn't explain that better for you. Let's get this one down first. Yep, got it. Thank you so much, Dr. Grendel. Um, all right, so what time slot? So, uh, yeah, what time slot would you like me to play Grixis Dragons? Chromatic Lantern actually just works out perfectly here for us. Um, uh, 
Whoa, Sir Tails! Sir Tails, thank you so much. Oh my gosh. Hawkeye. You're not Sir Tails anymore. We have a new Sir Tails on the block. Thank you for gifting all those subs out. Everybody, get your hype in the chat. Starting off this early stream crazy. Sub train hype here. Oh, well, yeah, thank you so much, Sir Tails. So that, so Sir Tails gifted out 10 subscribers. So that gets us to a sub goal. Uh, and we'll take the Kai's Wrath. So I hope uh, any of you new new subscribers, hope you are enjoying your uh, <laughs> your new emotes and everything. Healer of the Glade, not really for this matchup, but it does trigger the Risen Reef, so can't complain. <laughs> yeah, you had like a 10% chance because, yeah, we just started the stream. Uh, tomorrow, I have so I have all the all the slots free tomorrow. Um, for today, I could rep I could uh, play it. Oh wow, that's that's a good draw. Uh, let's see what's going on over here first. Spark Double and Krasis. Let's get rid of Krasis. Yeah, so tomorrow I could play it, could play it anytime. Uh, for today, the two decks that um, I don't need to play that I can push to tomorrow is Orzhov Vampires and Mono Red Goblins. The earliest I could play it today is third, because I had a donation to play the, the Chandra Tribal second. So if you want it today, third, fourth, or fifth, or um, tomorrow, anytime. Okay, let's see. Hostage Taker has got to be good against the Hydroid Crisis deck. Even though I don't know if like playing Hostage Taker and 8 Wraths is really what, what I want to be doing, but maybe it is. What else are they doing over there besides Crisis? So they have Spark Double. What's that all about? Are they trying to Spark Double Risen Reef? What kind of payoffs are they going to have? Like, is this going to be a mass manipulation deck? So my deck does struggle against mass manipulation, for sure. Like, I'm, I'm relying on big big flyers. Let me get this ego in here. I'm not too worried about Nyssa. I think I'm going to be okay against Nyssa. I think my opponent's deck is going to be going over the top of Golo, so I'm going to trim one of those. Okay, sounds good. Perfect. All right, let's see. I guess I'm not going to play Hostage Taker. We'll just have the Sweepers. We'll see. I don't really have a ton against Nyssa, though, in right now. So maybe I need to be more worried about Nyssa. And then what I actually am.
All right, I'll move the goblins to tomorrow since we're doing Chandra Tribal, which is already a mono red deck. So biggest problem with this hand, of course, is just our one white source. Got to draw a second one, but we have a lot of white sources in this deck. Hey, what's up, Eisen F? Okay, some new Mardu, Mardu mid-range stuff. Yeah, that that Mardu mid-range deck though made the end of this last the last format was a whole lot of fun. No, yeah, uh, Fat TV, yeah, uh, Leyline Abundance, Nissa, Hydro Crisis deck, yeah, you can have a good deck there. Um, if you check out the YouTube channel there and uh, sc go to about maybe four or five days ago, look for a deck called Bant Ramp. We had a donation deck there that played all those cards and it was good. It was, yeah, the Leyline was better than I expected it to be. I'd say. Alright, just missing the green mana. Yeah, should have trophy got a trophy the elf so it doesn't ramp. <laughs> Who bleeds getting in on this? Afternoon party here. Thanks, who please. Sub number fourteen. Ugh, still missing the green mana. Green is the hardest color for me to hit out of all the colors. It's the color I have the least amount of. I'm expecting my opponent to have a lot of counter magic in hand. Uh, for how they haven't, they just haven't been playing anything. Oh right, I had the kitty white because I needed the white mana earlier. We need to have the green kitty. There we go, green kitty. Good call. So we're starting with five color reborn, which we didn't, which we ran out of time last night. So that's why I'm starting. I'm going with an early stream, and starting with that with this one. Uh, yeah, I play a lot of fun jank decks. I'm across to many fun jank decks. Um. Alright, so they're all about them Risen Reefs. Yeah, that's the real question. Do I play boring jank decks? And don't have too many of those. Um, come on, green kitty. We need green mana. You can do it, green kitty. Yeah, so we, they're not... An, they're definitely not a... 
Well, not definitely not a mass manipulation deck. They could s certainly still be a, a mass manipulation deck. Green Mana Kitty's not helping out here, Boot. I think I have six green sources, which, yeah, isn't a lot. Uh, well, like, six green lands, and then I have... Because, I mean, it's, it's hard to have like, just a whole lot of all the five colors. It's it's really my splash color for Reborn and Krasis, mostly. I mean, you know, we have, like, this trophy here, but... Uh, besides that, um, we have, you know, our Chromatic Lanterns, and we have the Golos. So we're really looking for, like, one of ten cards, which we haven't seen any of those ten yet. Hey, what's up, Colonel Fault? Ugh. Hey, Yager. <laughs> yeah, Gull is chilling at the bottom of the deck with all the fours. Oh, no. Why'd they have to have another creature? This has been such a sad game. I'm I'm very confident we're going to win game three. I've, I feel good about this matchup for sure. But this has just been such a sad game. <laughs> Uh, the only big mana card we've seen from them so far is Hydroid Krasis. But it doesn't really matter what your your end goal is. With all the value you get here. Whoa, Oslin! Up in that sub to a tier 3. Everybody, let's get some hype in here for Oslin. Thank you so much, Oslin. And honestly, you may have had the tier 3 sub before, Oslin. And so, if so, I'm sorry, saying the up in your sub. Hey, there's Multani. That card's good. Can they give Multani haste? This thing gives it haste, right? Ah, it's too late. They have to, they have to play the Multani first and then Scourger. <laughs> Risen Beef. Oh, okay, cool. So no, it is a brand new tier 3 sub. Thank you so much, Oslin. So three for Lantern. We'll see if they, they have more counter magic now. All right, so they're playing tons of negates. So let's get our vetoes in here. Rampage is not a card I, I want. We'll get the Golas back in here and take her. I don't know, bouncing Risen Reef doesn't really seem that great. Doesn't really seem anything I really want to bounce. I guess the stops negates though, doesn't it? Hmm. All right, we'll we'll stop some negates. We'll we'll do that.
you want to form out where you win by reducing your own life total to zero? That's that's called playing Death Shadow in in modern. That's what you get. Do you think there's too much removal and not many theme decks like there was in the past? Just in in standard? Alright, our green one didn't work out. Let's go let's go blue blue kitty. I've had some good success with the blue kitty recently. It was the blue kitty that needed for the green mana. All right, well they've had they have a lot faster hand than they had last time. It's not not a good start for me. And I I could have mulliganed this hand, you know, it's just turn four to fairy, doesn't do anything else. Could have definitely mulligan this hand. Uh, maybe I should have with turn two Risen Reef being the option here. All right, so they're just hope holding up a counter spell again. We have not drawn very well. I kept six six mana sources and we've drawn two more. Not ideal at all. So I'll go like this. Instead of just having the Teferi countered, maybe next turn we draw like a Thought Erasure that we can play first. Or a Dovin's Veto. You know, of course, our, our best draw, of course, is Niv-Mizzet Reborn. Because they're not countering Niv-Mizzet. And it will draw us a lot of cards. Krasis also. Those are our best draws. Yep, I'm on a little early today because we ended the stream early yesterday. Like I was, I was supposed to play this deck at the end of the day yesterday, but we kind of ran out of time. And so, started streaming early today. And we're going to play five decks today instead of the normal four. That's a good one. Gets around a gate. We just got to hope no Autumn Veil. Vale. <laughs> You're calling Steam Fence off the top. Ugh. Or Veil of Summer. Whatever. I always want to call that card Autumn Veil. Vale. Because it's basically Autumn Veil. Vale. Oh, sorry, Necrolepsy. But it's all good. You're here now.
All right, looks like our opponent's got us. I played one interaction spell. I have one more. <laughs> that's just not. That's just not enough. I should have mulliganed my hand. I guess the four land double chromatic lantern hand does not work out when you don't draw Niv Mizzet right away. It's only 10 power in play right now. I still have just six cards. There isn't a reef just so busted. Yeah, I can seven for one them here, and they'll still have just millions of cards. I've had enough. Just too much just sitting here. <laughs> Alright, we're on one. Hey, what's up, nerd girl? Good morning. Yep, GG's. All good, Mason. Yeah, there's there's a lot of triggers there, so yeah, it takes it takes a while. Hey Chief Seth. Alright, let's mulligan. Um, yeah, we have London Mulligan roll. I, I really should have mulliganed that game three hand. That was that was a really bad keep. Keeping this one mostly because we have the Kaya's Wrath. You know, like, you know, Kaiser Niv. If this was a seven card hand, I would I maybe would mulligan this. But with it with it already being our six where we'd be going down to five if we keep. Yeah, Mono Blue Legends, that's that's gonna be a fun one. Yeah, that's that's a new one I just put together a little bit ago, and yeah, I'm excited to play that one. They didn't play a second land. So we don't really know if... We don't really know if, like... They're just mono blue. Or if this is, like, a, a blue-white spirits deck. Don't really know what's, exactly what's going on. We're going to kind of treat it like it's mono blue. We're going to have these Vetoes and the Othakaya. Um, is Hostage Taker any good against Mono Blue? Eh, maybe Golis is okay.
I don't have the Dr Grixis Dragons list posted yet. Uh, I can I'll get that up here. Necrolepsy. I'll do that now for you. I guess Othokaya and Clarion aren't, like, spectacular. Kovi! Thanks for sub there, Kovi. I appreciate that. Only subs here early today. Thank y'all very much. Yeah, Teamer is red, blue, and green, correct? Okay, maybe a blue green flash. That's what that's what it looks like now. Okay, Grixis Dragon's deck list is up on Stream Decker now. Here's the link. So I was doing that first so that, I mean, I was, I was, I was really hoping to bait out a counter spell there, to be honest. Hmm. But, you know, I wouldn't want to Wrath after Reborn, but maybe I should have just jammed Reborn. And then have wrath for the next turn. I mean, that, this was like specifically the worst, the worst case scenario for me, of course, with playing the wrath was them having just ambusher then counterspell. That was the worst case scenario. And so obviously that was the scenario. No, we didn't do Reborn yesterday, so that's why we, we're on early today with Reborn. Okay. So Ambusher does cost four mana. Let's get this thing in here. deck doesn't kill ambusher neither does clarion all right let's try again
Yeah, maybe I should be playing the hostage taker over a, over a Clarion. And what's up with our hands? I mean, I have... Oh, we're just mulliganing. Okay. Hmm. Alright, needing blue mana is not so bad. We have a lot of blue sources in the deck. That's a good draw. Our opponent showed last game that they didn't care about countering Chromatic Lantern. So we'll see about this game. Well, that's really annoying. Last game I didn't need it at all, and they just let it go. This game I needed it. And they didn't let it go. Um, hey, Cal thirty three with the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you so much, Cal. Seventeenth sub of the day. If I had two blue mana, you know, I would thought erasure and have veto and stuff, but we just don't have two blue, so I'm just gonna Kind of keep jamming stuff here. Even though, you know, you normally want to play your Thought Erasures first, of course. This is not this is not our league. Reborn was perfect. Well, Crisis would be a little better, but If we get to untap, we're, we're going to stabilize. If we get to untap, we'll see if they have another trickster. Hopefully not. Ah, Dream Eater. Unfortunate. Two losses. Wah, wah. 
both of these games we've had like both these matches we had our game one like where our hand was like really good and we just completely steamrolled game one and then games two and three were just the other story Ooh, got your pizza? Nice. It's a good breakfast right there. Alright, thought erasure on turn two is always good. Yeah, I like pineapple on the pizza. I do, but I'm the kind of person that likes basically everything, so... There's not really things I don't like. I can appreciate everything for what it is. Yeah, I don't know what the deal is with like these counterspell heavy decks these days. That's our pairing, I suppose. Yeah, there are less three mana Teferis around right now. I prefer not so many shock lands right now. You can tell here, just playing around the spell pierce. Well, Clarion doesn't kill that thing. That would have been great to have a green source here. We've really struggled with the green sources this league. More, more than I have in the past. Good, no other counter. No, not another Tempest Gin. Come on. Any other creature. Ugh. This is not our league at all. Guess this is what happens whenever we have an early stream. I'm just gonna take out green green cards.
Good call, Dark Claw. Three twos the dream, it's still there. Reset. We're yet we haven't lost this yet. The other two matches we won game one fairly easily and then lost games two and three, so we're going for the other route this time. Decide to lose game one and win games two and three. Can is major. Thank you so much there, Can. Thanks for keeping that positivity. Alright, 18th sub of the day. Alright, there's white. So that... Yeah, that does give us everything. Yeah, it gives us everything we need. Okay, so our first Kai's Wrath is going to get countered. But we play this next turn. I could just go with the Krasis, though. I think we just, just play into the Negate here first. Just get that out of their hand. Huh. Guess they got a spell pierce. That does give us more information, though. I honestly don't mind really trading that with spell pierce because that gives us, you know, more information. They still have, like, the negate. Like, we know more stuff about their hand. Question is, do you think Leyline of Abundance should be a four of to make it more consistent than rather than a three of like we had the that previous time we played it? I'm not honestly not exactly sure. I don't know if it really if that's like the kind of card that you want it to be a four of. I don't know if that's the kind of card that because you, you know just having a four of means you're going to be drawing it a lot more. I think that that card's kind of fine as a three of, to be honest, but. If you're really leaning into it, I, I could certainly see it being a 4 of. So I, I could kind of see it either way, to be honest. So I'm not exactly sure. Uh, and yeah, where to see all the decks, uh, Jay Pitters, is you can just go there to the Stream Decker page. That's a place. Or it's it's kind of hard to, to see the decks, though, on the Stream Decker page. Um, so another option is just going to the YouTube channel and clicking the video tab and just, you know, kind of scrolling through the videos and looking at the thumbnails and... Whatever video you click on in the description, you'll find a link to the deck list there. All right, we'll just get rid of a couple of these other cards. If I had six mana here, I would be playing Krasis for four, but I don't have six mana, so. Hey, Jay. Yeah, I started the stream early today to make up for yesterday. Uh, so we're playing a fifth deck today. Um, yesterday our decks went long. We we only played three instead of four, and I spent some. And only two of the videos actually ended up on the YouTube channel yesterday. Well, 
Wait. Wait, 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 wait. That auto tap was not going to let me play the Dovin's Veto. I didn't mean to let that other dive down resolve. Whoops. I still had the resolve all though. Ugh. All right, can we win game three on the draw? It's gonna be the big question. What do you think, Hawkeye? Did we can get there. Emmanuel, what do you mean? Stream Decker is not available. Okay, yeah, it's just taking a long time to load. Guy's a big Alanis Morissette fan, just belting out. Belting out those hits. Yeah. So, yeah. Hostage Shaker and Ashiok definitely do a whole lot different things. I don't think this that Ashiok's too necessary in the deck. I've played it before and why is a Goblet Shrine out of my deck? I've played it before, um, but it's honestly really not that necessary. The matchups where it's it's good against, you don't really need it. Or like those are like your good matchups, or like the matchups that's good. Hostage Taker is really for the aggro decks, especially Adanto Vanguard. With Adanto Vanguard being real popular, like the vampires and and mono white, um, kind of need more stuff for Adanto Vanguard. So Hostage Taker is. It's it's a card that I'm really glad is in our sideboard right now. Yeah, I'm going to take out Lantern and just hope to draw one of our green sources, basically. That's going to be the tough mana color without Lantern. Perfect. The non-perfect parts, of course, is they're all... All shock lands. Ugh. One drop Curious Obsession on the play. That's tough to beat. I know, Hawkeye. By playing Hallowed Fountain here, I can go uh, Clifftop Retreat into Reveler. Raveler. 
both Temple Guard and Steam Vents aren't casting Kai's Wrath. Well, I guess Temple Garden's casting Kai's Wrath. Never mind. Sorry, but Steam Vents wasn't. So they have a spell pierce. It's probably not just dive down, it's probably pierce, right? Oh, I need I need the blood crypt in play. Crap. In green with crisis, but I need blood crypt because we're gonna have to just Kai's wrath next turn. That's just eleven, right? Which eleven means I don't get to blood crypt. Okay. So I can craze this and go to six. No, I just I just have to jam Kai's Wrath. Because if I go to six, they can they can have as long as they have a land, they have six power, six power. I can't block both of them. Yeah, if they if they don't have a so yeah that that two life's definitely gonna hurt me because I was gonna say if they don't have a a counter it's likely they have their flash creatures and yep it's really unlikely they just don't have counter magic and don't have flash creatures. We'll play in the temple garden. May have cost me that. Yeah, we we are playing against the the flash decks with a lot of counter spells. Like all three of these decks have just been decks with just tons of counter spells. They've been really hurting us, you know. Like we're trying to play just like our, our big splashy things, and we have just been getting negated over and over and over again. Three decks in a row. It's been rough. So no black mana. Black is the color that we have the most mana of. But even without that, we don't really have anything to do until later. So I'm going to ship it. Um, get rid of one discovery. We're just playing against another flash deck. Are you kidding me? I just concede. Uh, I don't want to play this matchup again. Just don't want to play this matchup again. It is.
was really disheartening. Oh. I drew very well, getting double flash creature that they could actually cast, and then then the blue source. I drew very well. I think, that was, I think they just accidentally hit the attack all didn't mean to. I think that was a mistake. Stop. Stop. This is crazy, just every single deck that we played is just counter spell heavy deck. Crazy day. I can no longer stand by and watch. Time is much more malleable than people think. Yeah, I only have one little Teferi in. Obviously I was supposed to have four of them. We need to go five here because if they just play the night pack ambush or they're gonna have like these things will be five fives. Draw Kaya's Wrath. If we draw Kaya's Wrath, we have a chance. B. 
This is hardly my worst defeat. We did not draw Kaiserath. That was a great hit. Their blue car is Brinborn Cutthroat. Can they just draw lands? That'd be nice. Just draw some lands. Well, I already minus my Teferi. I couldn't just play it on their turn. Trust me, I have a plan. So I'm, I drew it off of the Teferi minus. I guess we'll give them that land. We're still in it. See if we can draw a Niv Mizzet. We have drawn we have drawn well. Drawing that other that third crisis in particular was a really good draw. Hopefully we draw Niv Mizzet. Them having another ambush. Uh night pack, sorry. Night pack ambusher. Though. Here goes nothing. Stupid four toughness. Yay. It's a good card. I've got time. I don't think it really matters what I get. I just want to get a shock land. So I don't, you know, I'd rather draw. If I'm going to draw a land, I don't want to draw a shock land. Our mana base is already like really slow and everything. I don't know if we can really afford temples here. It's already pretty tough with like the the shock lands, you know, like having having enough shock lands to have like the other lands coming to play untapped. I really don't think we can really afford temples here. And no, as you see, we're gonna have Chandra Tribal up next. Stop that. Now. Okay, I don't have any green shocks.
If I activate Golos... Don't worry. I got this. Oh, which I can't because the auto tap messed it up anyway. It I had 7 mana, but the auto tap just tapped two green sources for some reason. This might be a bad idea. Golos actually stabilized for us. Well, I mean, really, Teferi did. No, I am not making this up as I go. I guess we're winning this game. Right on schedule. Yeah, a little Teferi certainly got us there. Our opponent did start top decking the lands. It looks like they drew lands for the last four draw steps. Five draw steps in a row. We need to move quickly. They already had all those other cards in hand. So I'm down to 17 cards. Need to make sure I don't deck myself. That's more like it. Yeah, we don't need to don't need to activate Golos anymore. We're good. We have nine power now. I'll just play the spell they know about. Well, we got really lucky there. Yeah, I would get rid of one of the blue and one of the black cavaliers, Jay Gomez. You gotta cut gotta cut some cavaliers. Get rid of one blue, one black. Actually it's this is only minus three.
This is 65, huh? Sixty-two. Sixty. All right, let's see how we can do. So we have... Thought Erasure first. So we need white and green mana. There's white and green mana. I wonder if I'm supposed to be taking the Vivian, honestly. I need land, but I, I think I should just be taking keeping this to spark. It's just such a good card. Kinda doing it. Kinda. No one knows the why I didn't live through hell to lose to you. Oh no, that's not good. White mana would have been ideal here, so I could have played Teferi, ticked up, and played to Spark. Let's do this again. I have to get rid of Vivian though. But not sure how I'm being this frilled mystic. I don't I don't think I am. Hmm. If only we had that one more, one turn earlier. They scried the, the last card that they kept to, to the top very, very fast. So I am sure they have another counter spell and how they're just sending it back to me. They're just going to have another counter spell here. Or they could just let it resolve, play another flash creature even. So it ended up being that keeping that other to spark uh, hurt us really bad.
if I don't if I don't keep that that to spark with the with the discovery, then we would have gotten to the white mana a turn earlier, uh, and we wouldn't have had like the spark for like the Ceratops. We would have had a, we would have had to wrath whenever they played Vivian, I guess. Yeah, we would have had to just we would have wrath the turn they played Vivian and killed all the creatures. Yeah, there's there's a lot less to fairy running around and uh but yeah, it looks like looks like everybody wants to play all the all the counterspell decks. And that's all we've been running into here. This is just the fourth. We're four for four with decks filled to the brim with negates and everything and counter spells. <laughs> yeah. This is not a good matchup for us. Uh, Negates is not strictly better than Tail's End. However, I do like Negate more. I would I would rather be playing Negate than playing Tail's End. I think it's a better card, but strictly better, no. Bomb, don't don't tell me what he has in hand. What are you doing? Don't do that. Actually, dispersal could be pretty important here. I I I want to wait another turn on Krasis. Uh, we want to wait on Kaya's Wrath. I kind of want to wait with Dispersal, too. Like, I, I feel like... Like, Discovery is very good, but I feel like Dispersal for this matchup is actually going to be better for us. Alright, so now our Krasis draws two, so let's go with the Krasis. No, three three crisis not worth casting, because you only draw it only draws one card. If you wait a turn, you get to draw two cards. Hmm. Maybe dispersal's not. Maybe dispersal wasn't worth it. Maybe just ca casting the discovery that other turn. I guess it wasn't, especially we just have all these lands. Would have loved to get rid of all these lands. We're gonna have to find, you know, like Thought Erasure, Dovin's Veto, that kind of stuff. Other interaction. To help protect Kai's Wrath. Let's 
That's not bad. I don't I don't think we're really winning this though. Like they just have a stacked hand over here. They haven't been playing lands the last few turns as you can see. So I don't don't know if we can get through a stacked hand. Yeah, early stream do do waffle. Um, I send announcements on, on, through the discord channel and everything too. I don't know, you know, with the Twitch notification, how that works, but sorry that you didn't get notified. But we didn't get through very many decks yesterday. And so I wanted to try to get through five decks today. It's unfortunate the f that our deck here went 0-4, just playing these matchups over and over, just every flash deck imaginable. Mm, one mana short from playing everything. Oh yeah, our decks looked really bad in this league. This deck was really good for us last format. Had a very good record with it, but yeah, this is a, this has just been an awful matchup that we just keep on playing over and over and over again. So yeah, our decks looked bad, so it's easy to say that this kind of deck isn't worth it. So we learned that we have a bad matchup with Come on, hurry up. There it goes. So just this is just a really really unfortunate league that we had to get paired against the same kind of deck four times in a row. And just learn that we have a bad matchup against a deck that has a fast clock, ba you know, like aggressive creatures, especially aggressive flash creatures backed up by a whole lot of counter magic is going to beat the expensive sorcery speed deck. And that's all we played against this whole league. So I'm really, I'm really sorry, uh, like, you know, for the YouTube video and everything that we didn't get, we didn't get to play against anything else and we didn't get to have uh, a good showing of the deck at all. Um, that's, that's all I can say is I'm sorry. I, I wish we had a better, a better array of decks, but you don't get to choose what you play against. I wish we had a better array of decks and I could have, we could have shown the, the deck off more than what we played against there. I probably should have just conceded that like whenever we had the turn two thought erasure, just conceded that match and just played a, a different one. Um, yeah, it feels bad. Um, But, oh well. I don't know, that's all I got. So if you're watching the video later on YouTube, I hope, hope you still hit the like button on there. And again, I'm sorry. Couldn't have made a better video for you. But, oh well. Uh, thanks so much for watching, though. And I will see you for another one.